Hello and welcome into the Sunday Sports Extra. I'm Andrew Chernoff. Another very busy show for you tonight. The Houston Texans had a bye week on the schedule, but the Dallas Cowboys were in action. Could Big D pick up the W up in Detroit? Plus, the Lamar Lady Cardinals were in action at the LU Soccer Complex, hoping to win its fourth consecutive game today. But of course, we begin with high school football. With only two more weeks to go in the regular season. Teams that are on the outside looking in are trying to make one last playoff push. And here to talk about their playoff chances is Orangefield Bobcats head coach Josh Smalley and a couple of his players. Coach, thanks for coming on the show. Appreciate you having us out here. Before we start talking about the playoff scenarios and get into that, let's talk about this bye week. You guys had one last week. Did it come in a good time for this team? Oh, no doubt. You know, it gave us a chance to heal up a little bit and uh, gave us a chance to focus on some of the things that we need to fix and get better at. So uh, we focused a lot on the fundamentals and getting back to what we need to do. And then, uh, We'll get some key players back to help us out, hopefully against Buna Friday night. I'm sure you guys are paying close attention to the District 21 3 standings a little bit. You guys are right now half game out of Buna. Buna has the last spot, fourth and final spot. You guys play them this week. How important of a game is it for you guys to win this week? Obviously, it's good to hold the future in your own hands, and we know uh, how important Friday night is, but it's, uh, uh, and it's something that it's a challenge that we really look forward to. You know, uh, that's what you want. It's the beauty of high school athletics. You get to uh, you get to control your own destiny. See, Mike, what do you expect to see from them? Big and physical. They're going to be wanting to win because it's their senior night. They'll be ready emotionally. Is it difficult for you guys as players looking at the standings every single day? I'm sure someone brings them up to you, and you look at your schedule and you're like, "Man, we should have probably won that game. Should have won that game." Do you guys dwell on that, or is that something you guys just move on? We have to move on from it. We can't dwell on it forever. I mean, we got to keep practicing and go on to the next game and focus. What would it mean to both of you guys to go to the playoffs this year? A lot. It would be good for the community, not going to playoffs in 10 years, and basically any guy sport, besides baseball, but football especially. How far can this team go, assuming you guys get into the playoffs? Well, you can go as far. All you got to do is get in the dance, and then that's you can take it where you want to. Uh, we'll go as far as we can as we can go as long as we play well, uh, and that's on everybody. As coaching staff, players, trainers, anybody involved in the program, uh, you know, we got to step our game up and, and get prepared. Uh, but uh, you know, the sky's the limit, and I think that's what these guys, you know, seniors this year, will mean the world to them to get in the playoffs and kind of bring the program back in the other direction where we're trying to go. Uh, I think they're starting to realize that they're only guaranteed two more games. You know, the UIL says they only get to play two more unless they get in the playoffs. I think that's hitting some of them. So the practices will pick up a little bit. The intensity will pick up a little bit. Uh, you know, they understand that it's, it's getting close to that time where they won't be able to put this jersey on again. Uh, and we'll see how much it means to them. Coach, I do have to ask them also this because they are brothers. For those of you watching at home right now, who's better? <laughs> you guys don't have to be modest either. <laughs> You can say, hold on, who's better? You were telling me before you were better. Right. And then Carl, you say you or? He knows I'm better. He just wants to be better. <laughs> <laughs> Coach, can you break the tie? No. <laughs> just glad to have them both. Is it fun for you to deal with brothers on the team like this that are competing against each other at the same sometimes, time? Sometimes. Sometimes, but as the people at home can see, it makes me lose my hair a little bit. There's a... Uh, you know, it gets a little stressful when you get a little, they'll get a little, uh, they'll get after each other a little bit sometimes out there at practice and challenge each other, but it's a good challenge and it makes the other one rise to another level. And so, uh, you know, to see them interact as brothers out there and getting to enjoy the game together, a lot of people don't get that experience, you know, playing high school football with family members and brothers. So it is a joy to have them out there. And, and, it, and they're two of the best kids we got as far as not just ability, but their attitudes, their work ethic, and, and what they bring to the program. So that, that helps it out too. See, nice words, right? I and mean, we didn't even determine who was better. Nice words. <laughs> awesome, Coach. Thank you very much for coming Appreciate on the show. It, guys, thank you guys very much. And best of luck over the next two weeks also. Good Thanks. luck trying to get into playoffs. Thank you.